what's up everybody i know it's been a minute since i posted something but it's the first day of 2023 and you know we make new year's resolutions for me i can't sustain them they never work um, i'm sure as traders you can relate sometimes we make resolutions every week every time we blow up an account we're making a new list of resolutions and you know we end up breaking our promises which can be pretty detrimental to our self-esteem and confidence and i know that's been one big factor that has held me back in my trading um and life in general if i'm being honest you saw in my last video i was looking pretty defeated a little bit exhausted and frustrated that i didn't make it to my first payout um if you was following a journey you know I, I managed to get a funded account and i've had four funded accounts so far and haven't made a single penny from trading which has been disheartening and yeah i gave up six months ago but deep down i know that this trading journey is going to make me a better person right now by the way we're in the Andalusian mountains in Spain look at that it's a beautiful view I'm hiking back to my cabin right now and yeah I wasn't sure what I was going to make this video about but I just wanted to just unload whatever was heavy on my heart and mind and what was holding me back in 2022 Yeah, sorry i just had to stop stop recording for a moment um so yeah i was talking about the best loser wins by tom hogart how that gave me some insights um with the chapters on disgust and the sub subsequent chapter on the drifting mind and one thing i didn't realize about myself was that I'm a person that is motivated to more move away from something rather than towards something. So what I mean by that, uh, for example, the other day, I did try and take a challenge uh, last month and I failed terribly. I think I had seven max lost days. I went up and down, up and down, up and down. Um, I clearly wasn't ready even though I thought I was um, because I had a break and whatnot but well, my mind kept betraying me and I wasn't doing the things that I needed to do um, I kept on going back to you know looking for excitement and instant gratification taking some stupid trades ended up gambling and I'm like why am I why am I why do I keep doing this to myself and when I finally blew the account, I went out for a 5k run, I'd done 200 press-ups, I had a cold shower, I meditated for an hour, went done journaling, all the things that I should have done from the beginning. I am motivated from always kind of resetting to ground zero to rock bottom. I think I've even mentioned this in the first video I ever made about self-sabotage but I didn't fully understand it because you know the only times I've managed to truly reprogram myself um, were at really dark times in my life when I was forced to and I was thinking about this last night during the ceremony um, I've had a pretty unstructured undisciplined life from a young age um, I went down the wrong path and you know it was a life uh, I was living that was centered around material things in instant gratification I was you know living a very hedonistic lifestyle um, and Things like money and, and stuff like that was coming really easy to me. I never really developed a hard work ethic, ethic, I'm ashamed to say. And I'm paying for it now. Um, 
but I've also paid for it in the past. The first time I went to prison, um, the first day I arrived there, I completely reprogrammed, reset, and became disciplined, became the best version of myself, became the strongest version of myself instantly. You know, the next day I was whistling away, um, positive, focused, um, and I got through it. And it's because I was really motiva motivated by disaster or like just being in a really rock bottom place and it seems like I perpetuate that cycle in trading and that is like a subconscious issue of mine that I only get my act together when everything has gone wrong and you know a place like prison especially in countries like Taiwan it's a very different culture I was also in prison in Mauritius and of course you don't have the distractions you have on the outside world you are able to focus there's no dopamine there's no it's a rough hard life where you have to become present and in the moment and pray and you know God got me through those times um, and I have faith I have faith my faith is strong um, from you know from life experience which is why you know I'm open-minded to you know try things like this like going on um, an ayahuasca retreat because uh, I've never done anything like psychedelics or anything like that in the past I think I'm going off on some tangents I didn't really know what I was going to talk about today I just knew I just wanted to let go of what I'm ashamed of and I don't want to give up we got to be honest with ourselves that's the only way we can move forward and progress just wanted to talk to you guys people that was watching my videos last year um, I hope your journey has gone well I hope 2022 has been amazing and there's been growth in your journeys I had to stop mine halfway but this year I'm gonna have a different approach and I wanted to start making content again because it focuses my mind um, it keeps me it keeps my mind pointed in the right direction you know because it's another purpose we all got different stories but we pretty much deal with the same um, human human problems um, when it comes to you know making that shift in our mindset to become the best version of ourselves and I'm nowhere, nowhere near it I'm like at the bottom I'm in my 30s now so you know that's something I'm self-conscious about I'm not where I want to be in life and I'm a failure do you know what I mean straight up but I can't focus on the negatives I've got to push forward and I've got to let go of you know ego and managing perceptions and caring about what other people think plan is to make um just record the journey i've got a new ftmo challenge locked in and we're going to start off a new series but the goal is you know not just to get funded not just to get a payout to to have that broad self-development the main priority in every sense and um I'm going to work it out as I go along. I have some ideas, I have some plans. So I'm excited to share them with you. Um, and love everybody that was um, supporting the journey and watching my videos from before. Um, 
so yeah make sure you like if you're new here subscribe all of that good stuff and i'll catch you guys next week love